Rick, we were sitting together in August mm -hmm. talking about the coaches symposium and, and what was to come, but now, you know, halfway through the season, building a winning culture, how do you feel? For me, what's important is uh, <coughs> establishing a partnership with the players and where we want to go. But before you get all that sort of stuff, before the wins and losses, you, you, you got to do the right things. And I think that we've built our pillars, we've built our staples, what, what we believe a Canuck is, you know, when you come to the rink, what we want to work on, how to, how to be a team that's hard to play against. You, you know, you command your game. When you come to the rink, you command yourself on the ice. You know, when you come to the rink, energy. Like, you know, whether you would lose 6 nothing or win 6-0, six, six the next day your energy level has to be high. Uh, and your compete. You know, your compete for us is always trying to find the next level. You know, drive that bar of compete and then invest. You know, when you come to the rink, invest in what we're doing here as a player, as an organization, as coaches. We all got to invest what we do together. So those are our four pillars. It, of course, starts with the coaching staff. But this is a group that their resumes are crazy hockey experience yeah. coaching experience but what is it about the group and the people that makes your staff work so well together you know obviously i'm the head coach so i'm leading leading the charge but then i look over i got the twins to the left of me i got an adam foot you know two times stanley cup champion you know sergey goncher stanley cup champion two hall of famers of the twins you know mike yo who's been so much experience as a head coach couple three times a head coach and they have a lot of say you know, I, there is a certain things I, I have non-negotiables. I want to play this certain way, but we can tweak stuff. And those, those guys that I just mentioned all buy in. You said in August that you wanted other teams to say the Canucks are a tough team to play against. Do you feel you're there? I just like to say there's another level, yes. I, I, I honestly talked to the players. We had individual meetings the other day, and I said, I want to start 0 0, zero. I want everybody to go in after this Christmas and this new year is starting new again. And to me, you got to earn your game, you earn your day. We talk about earning your day every day you come to the rink, earn your practice. You know, think short term, not long term. We sit here right now. If you were to give me the elevator pitch, what is Canucks hockey? When you play the Canucks, whether it's whatever the score is, they always play a consistent style of hockey. You know, they do the right things. And I think we're still striving for that. But at the end of the year, I hope I can say, hey, this was a team that when the pressure hit, that uh, they, they handled pressure very well. They didn't get flustered. I guess that's really what it's about for me. We've got an exciting few months coming yeah. up and the foundation's laid, so you gotta keep building. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This is, this is the fun part of the season. But uh, the pressure's gonna get ramped up and. I always tell players, I mean, who just wants to play a nothing game? Like, you know, I don't care if you're playing uh, checkers, you know, you want to be competitive. So that's just the way I am. And we, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And hopefully the players uh, want to have fun with it, too. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Kate.